XR SAM, India's long range shield between S 400 and MR SAM. India's air defense map has two strong anchors today the very long range S 400 batteries and the mid tier MR SAM network that guards cities, bases, and fleets. The gap between them is where the XR SAM concept lives a domestically developed long range surface to air system designed to extend India's defensive reach, thin out raids before they reach terminal layers, and give commanders more shots across more sky with Indian control over software, seekers, and supply. Think of the problem first. Modern air threats arrive as mixed packages, high-flying bombers launching standoff weapons, fighters skirting radar at low level, sea-skimming missiles riding the horizon, and ballistic or quasi-ballistic weapons diving fast. If the first hard intercept happens very close to the target, even a successful kill can leave debris and missed leakers. A long-range Indian-owned layer adds an earlier engagement window, nudging the whole air defense fight outward. XR SAM's architecture is built around three ideas, range, discrimination, and resilience. Range comes from a high-energy missile stack, boost, sustain, and terminal control that can prosecute aerodynamic targets at several hundred kilometers, with a second family scaled for medium-long shots and a third for close-in endgame. Discrimination comes from multi-mode seekers that can pair an active radar seeker with a secondary mode, home on jam or passive cues, so that jamming turns into a targeting aid rather than a shield. Resilience comes from distributed launchers and multiple radars, surveillance to sweep wide, engagement radars to lock and guide, and passive EO sensors to cross-check. So a single node failure doesn't blind the battery. At the heart is a phased array radar suite tuned for long-range surveillance, missile guidance, and clutter rejection over land and sea. Low side lobe designs, electronic counter-counter measures, and frequency agility keep track steady when an adversary tries to blind or spoof the system. For sea skimmers and terrain masked flyers, high elevation masts and netted sensors extend the radar horizon. For high altitude threats, precise track while scan enables multiple simultaneous engagements without losing picture on the rest of the sky. Engagement logic follows layered doctrine. The battery creates no-go volumes around high value areas and corridors that hostile aircraft must avoid or accept attrition. A long stick interceptor takes the first shot at bomber and fighter tracks before they can launch or at least far enough that their standoff weapons lose ideal release geometry. A second wave of interceptors handles cruise missiles and difficult crossers. If a ballistic or quasi-ballistic threat appears, specialized versions with high-G endgame control and smart fuse logic aim for a body or fragment cloud kill well forward of the defended asset, handing any leakers to lower tiers. Networking is where the system earns its place. XR SAM batteries are designed to plug into India's integrated air command and control system so that fighters, AEWENC, ground radars, and naval sensors share a common air picture. Cooperative engagement allows a launcher to fire on a track provided by a distant radar, while data links keep mid-course updates flowing until the seeker takes over in the terminal phase. This turns the defense from a collection of point bubbles into a wide stitched canopy where any sensor can cue any shooter that has the geometry. Mobility and survivability are operational requirements, not afterthoughts. Road mobile launchers disperse quickly after firing. Radars use emission control profiles and decoys to complicate anti-radiation missile targeting. Power and communications have redundancies, including fiber, radio relays, and satellite backups. Shoot and scoot drills and camouflage discipline keep a battery alive against pre-planned strikes, while hardened shelters and rapid mass lowering reduce setup and teardown times. Indigenization is a strategic advantage baked into the design. Domestic seekers, programmable fuses, guidance computers, airframes, canisters, and ground vehicles reduce exposure to foreign supply shocks and allow rapid software updates as adversary jammers and tactics evolve. Commonality with existing Indian missiles, propellants, electronics, and canister standards simplifies production lines and spares. On a commander's map, XR SAM changes geometry. Fewer enemy aircraft can reach ideal launch points. Cruise missile salvos face attrition early. 
high-value ISR platforms are pushed back, and friendly fighters can operate with a deeper protective umbrella, conserving their own long-range weapons for offense. Overwater coastal XR SAM arcs pair with shipborne MR SAM and long-range ship missiles to build overlapping bubbles that protect ports and surface groups as they sortie. Limits and counters are part of the calculus. Long shots mean long timelines. Tracks must be maintained through evasive maneuvers and jamming. Saturation attacks test magazine depth and reload drills. Low observable targets compress detection range. The answer is doctrine as much as hardware. Stack layers, net radars, pre-planned shot discipline, and train mixed fighter SAM tactics so that each domain covers the other's blind spots. The strategic payoff is an Indian-owned long-range shield that sits between imported very long-range assets and domestic medium-range systems, turning the air defense fight into a deeper, more flexible game. It buys time and distance for decision-makers, raises the cost of coercion from the air, and strengthens deterrence without broadcasting vulnerability to supply chains beyond India's control. For deep dives on India's air defense network, next-gen seekers, and layered engagement doctrine, visit globalinfoveda.com.